Hi guys, it's Laura with How's It Growing. First, I wanna welcome you to the inside of our home. I don't know that I've done any YouTube videos yet where I show the inside. This is our dining room and uh, really one of my favorite rooms in the whole house. We live in a 1920 colonial home and my husband and myself are really into reviving and maintaining historic home and keeping the integrity of the old home. So I wanna welcome you to our dining room and to our home. I'll be showing you guys some more uh, things as the garden season winds down. I will be bringing you guys in here a lot more to see some projects, uh, DIY type things that we work on. Um, I don't know if you caught it on Instagram or Facebook yesterday, but it's a super exciting time for us right now. Our house was just featured in the November 2019 uh, Country Sampler magazine, and it is such an honor. And um, I'm just so thankful and just blown away. It's just amazing. It's a happy, happy time in our house right now. So I'm gonna get into making this wreath with a couple of disclaimers. When I made this wreath for myself a few years ago, uh, one, I bought all the sunflower stems on like end of season clearance at Michael's. So some of these stems, this one here is $20 normal price. Now you guys know you can get those 40% off and 50% off Michael's coupons. So if they're not on a good sale like that, go in and, and use those 40 and 50% off coupons because these can be expensive if you don't buy them at the right time and with the right coupons. So for the application that I'm using this in, it's going to be hung on a door with a glass window. I've also hung it on our storm door. So bear that in mind that when I go through some of these steps, it might not be advisable for you to use some of the tape and some of the things that I'm going to be using on a door with paint. So keep that in mind and I guess try at your own risk on anything other than what I'm about to show you right now. This is just a really simple project, not a lot of supplies needed, and I think it comes together really nicely in the end. So I'll show you what we need. So first, a pair of scissors. Then we'll need a hole punch. Some paddle wire. I like to use the heavy gauge paddle wire in all my projects so that way, you know, it's nice and sturdy and secure. Uh, let's see, this is indoor outdoor weather seal tape by frost king i got this on amazon and i'll put links to these items below so you would put this tape along the stripping of your windows uh that's the intended purpose of this tape to keep the warm air in in the winter time if you have kind of drafty windows but that's not what we're using it for here so indoor outdoor weather seal tape frost king got that on amazon I have some little bumblebees that I got at the craft store. I love to use them everywhere, as you can see. I, I kind of mix them in all of our decor all over. This is definitely optional, uh, just a little, this is like cranberry spray. This is craft plastic that I got on Amazon also in a package like this. I will be cutting it down and show you what I'll be using that for. Okay, so first let's grab the two biggest stems. I have, just to show you real quick, uh, three smaller sunflowers. These are by Ashland. I got them at Michael's. And then I just have two large stems, just so you can see the difference. And obviously you can tailor this any way you want, any colors you want, uh, sizes you want. I just like to keep it really simple uh, with this. I think it's so pretty just on its own. First, let's get a piece of paddle wire. And this is also what I'm going to use to hang them from the hook on the door too. So you want to make a little loop when you attach the wire because that's how these are going to hang. I'm just going to give these a little bend forward like that. Okay, just kind of bunch them together there. Then I'm taking the paddle wire and wrapping it in the back, right about there. Super easy, little hook, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna lay these down. And then you just grab your next three and basically the same exact 
uh, the same exact process as you did with the larger ones. You can kind of stagger them if you'd like, and we can adjust the leaves once we get it all put together. Just kind of bend them down a bit so they're outward facing. And maybe, and none of this is permanent. There's no glue, nothing like that. So it's not like you can't disassemble it and reassemble it if something doesn't look quite right. My dear husband, I went to Michael's and they were all out at where I found one of the larger stems. And then I was on a goose chase to find another one. And he managed to run out on his lunch break. He took a picture of the UPC and found uh, Michael's out by where his office is and grabbed me another large sunflower. So thank you, Mark. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of lay this on top of the original stem. You can already see it's almost, it's almost finished really. So another piece of wire. And I'm gonna secure them all together now. So with something like this, it's heavy and it's awkwardly shaped. So when it's on your door, it's going to be kind of top heavy, kind of shifting as you open and close. So here's where the tape and the plastic come into play. But already you can see it's looking really cute. And once it's on the door, you can adjust it. But um, okay, so with this plastic, I cut it down, no specific size. I just cut it down to about a size like that. And then what you wanna do is take your hole punch, put two holes right in the center there. So I'm gonna flip this over and then I'm gonna get another piece of paddle wire. So I'm gonna lay this with the two holes punched uh, right about you know midway down the, down the line here. Then I'm gonna take my paddle wire, push it through one hole around the, the stem bunch, then up through the other hole. So I did uh, just pick this one up at Michael's, already made. You could use twine, you could use like some jute ribbon, I love to use this. You could even use, they have these like multi-packs of raffia, you could wrap that around to make a bow. I think the bow gives this like a nice finishing touch, especially when you wanna try and kind of conceal the mechanics from the outside of this plastic strip the bow really kind of ties it together the bow ties it together get it uh but the bow ties it together and it uh hides some of the mechanics here that you really don't want people seeing one thing that i put everywhere these little bumblebees i did get these uh at a craft store but it was like uh not a michaels or an ac more it was like a local mom and pop craft store so I don't know the name. This was, again, years ago, I got two boxes of these and I used the same, them over and over again. So I like to put bumblebees on everything and I'm just gonna kind of randomly go along, maybe put one on the bow, maybe one more. Just so cute, aren't they cute? And I'll put one Maybe right in one of the sunflowers, I think that would be cute. And it's, again, it's got like wire feet, so it stays put really, really well. Kind of just poked right in there. Okay, so now I am going to flip this over. I'm probably gonna knock off the bumblebees I just put on. Flip it over, now I'm gonna put the tape on, because then I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you how I fluff it up and finish it. So this tape is basically going to stick. So I'm putting it sticky side facing me. 
underneath the plastic, like I said, you're, you're creating basically a great big command strip. Let's trim off a little of the excess here. I hope you guys find this sort of thing interesting. I mean, I find these kinds of things interesting. And I know, you know, we're kind of getting into the non-gardening times. So I would love to show you guys some of the DIY kind of projects I do, even if they're simple little things like this. Okay, so one finishing touch that I do on my wreaths, I always spray with like just a little bit. And you want to be careful because with some of the silks, you know, you don't want the colors to run and things like that. So I always just give like a little spray to my wreath with a seasonal spray and it kind of it kind of just gives it like a little extra nice touch. Super easy. This bow I'm going to adjust a little bit once it gets on the door. It looks a little too low, I think. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys outside. I'm going to show you what it looks like to hang it up. So real quick before I hang this up, I just wanted to show you what the back looks like up close with the tape around the sides, just so you can get an idea of what it should sort of look like in order to secure it on the door. And I'm just using like one of these little suction cup hooks. Sometimes these don't work so great. I have used command hooks and I've also used, it works really well, those, uh, there's kinds that are magnets where the one magnet goes on the inside of the glass and another on the outside of the glass. But this glass seems awful thick, so it doesn't work so well. I'm trying the suction cup and it seems to be working okay so far. Okay. So I do think I'm gonna trim this one piece here. I hope these scissors will do it. I'm back. So I just happen to have these enormous like wire cutters. Piece of advice, don't cut these. Adjust them so that they even out. I didn't I remember now that I did not cut these on my last one and it would just be much easier not to. I'll show you here. It's it's just in the back where we have it and you're just going to press it down. And it may pop off. Uh honestly, but for the most part, I've noticed that it stays pretty secure on here and I haven't had any problems. So I'm just gonna fluff this up now. Just wanted to take a step back and show you guys what it looks like all fluffed up and finished. I hope this inspired you guys to get out and try something new for fall. And if this has inspired you and you enjoy these videos, please subscribe and share. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you.